Hi everyone. So in the last article, we learned how to insert data in, into the PHP database. So today we will be learning how to display a data from the database. So for that, first of all, I have to make up my connection. So now what I have to do is I have I am implementing one query as select star from this is my table name student is the table name select star from student result I am taking up a variable my SQL I underscore query is a function in which two parameters are, are passed the first one is the connect uh, which is connected to my database and the second one is the query that is a select star from student all the data or the uh, result of this query will be stored in this result variable so now I'm taking an another variable while in the while loop because result contains all the rows that are present in the data in the table means it can be five rows it can be ten rows or n number of rows so in order to fetch single single row from the result I'm taking up with a PHP function name as mysql i underscore fetch association in this I will be passing my result variable now I'm making a table in the top so that it looks more impressive I've set the title as display data from the table making a table over here labeling So now what I am going to do here is I will be this I will be writing here as echo row. So the first column name is name. I will be writing here it is name and the second column name is phone. I will be writing here it as phone. So I am going to save it as display data.php. Now I am just going to run this file display data.php and I'm going to run this file so all the data that is stored in my student table is being displayed over here so that was uh, I'm going to explain the code once again this is a connection variable through which we are connecting to a database then I am like applied a query uh, select star from student that will fetch all the data from the student table and will store all the data in results I will be having five rows ten rows or any n number of rows so after that I will be uh, fetching a single row from the result variable and stored it in to the row variable and in the loop I am writing here as like HTML I am building up a table so in that table I am writing here like fetching the first column and displaying it onto my screen and then fetching the second column and display it again onto my screen so this way until my all rows are fetched from the database it will be the loop will be continuing again and again until the last row is been displayed thanks for watching